Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of FS Passengers. So I was actually just flying this flight and I had the same problem that I've been having uh, an air hauler and that is this thing uh, I ended up with a black screen. Sorry for this, got this squeaky chair. Um, Yeah, black screen on me which is unfortunate. I think I may have found the problem. I actually had two display driver lines in my um, config file, and one said, one had an additional line, uh, anti-aliasing equals one. And I, I see why I had that on. If you can see this, it looks very jagged. So that's why I actually had anti-aliasing on for stuff like that. You can see how jagged it is. It actually makes it look better. I don't know if I had it on before. I messed with some stuff earlier uh, days ago, and it's really kind of, it, it's it's screwy, man. It has messed things up. And see, I want to turn anti-aliasing back on, but that could be the problem as well. It could be just that anti-aliasing was causing the problem too. I don't know. Things haven't looked as clear the past uh, week or so. I noticed even in the preview box when you start up FSX and it shows the planes and everything, it looks more jagged than it always has. And I don't know why that happened. It's just out of the blue. I don't know. I haven't been able to get it back. And uh, NVIDIA... Uh, oh, what the heck is... This? NVIDIA Inspector, I had to reinstall the drivers and stuff and it, it wiped out my NVIDIA Inspector settings, so I, I think I've got those back to about where it was, but uh, it's been kind of annoying. Anyway, we're here in uh, up near Cape Cod, Hyannis, I think, Connecticut, or Massachusetts, sorry. And we're going to be going on to the Hamptons, schmoozing in the Hamptons. See, that looks really smooth, but then other things look really jagged. So I'll try uh, flying with that uh Anti-aliasing equals one in the config file. I'll try that as well. See if that helps. Because I noticed I didn't have it on in my last flight, and I noticed this stuff is not as clear uh, as, as it was in the last one, too. Anyway, let's get on with this. FS passengers, we're going to the Hamptons, like I said. There you go. Our five passengers, we'll load them up. First, make sure we get all five. Uh, it, this flight is about a hundred miles, so we don't need much fuel. To be quite honest, I'm actually going to turn it down to twenty-five percent. That would be what four hundred miles, and this goes way more than four hundred miles. Yeah, let's fill this puppy up with baggage, man. Heck yeah. So it's at ninety-one percent. Might as well put more fuel in it just in case. Because we did get dinged once, it said we didn't have enough fuel for the alternative route or whatever. I don't know. Set type with a normal flight. And set our destination, that is KHTO. East Hamptons. Destination set. All right. Go ahead and load it up. Make sure we got our peoples. Yep. We'll start our flight. And I gotta oil up this chair, man. It's getting all squeaky. Could get worse and worse, worse. Put your seatbelts on, folks. Where's our fuel? Here we go. Yeah, that stuff isn't as legible as it was just a little bit ago. Hopefully we I figure out what it is, man. It is really annoying to not be able to fly for more than like twenty minutes and have everything crashing on you. Alright. Let's turn the battery on. Nav. Uh lift magneto. Uh we got a fire fuel pump. And let's see if we can't get her started up. that on full. We'll turn that fuel pump off and the alternator on. Turn this mixture up. Right fuel pump. 
Magnetos. Let's start her up. Now I looked in the config file as well. Let's put that up. Uh, fuel pump off. Right alternator on. Uh, to see if we could disable the, because I keep getting dinged on the no beacon and the strobes, and it wasn't. I didn't have an option there, unfortunately. So we'll just have to keep getting dinged, I guess, because I can't figure it out. Windshield heat, pedo heat, and radio is on. That's all we're going to mess with over there for right now. Oh, let's, uh, yeah, this is way worse than just a little bit ago. Kind of crazy. Please say runway 33. Please say runway 33. Are you kidding me? How do you... Twenty minutes ago, it was runway thirty-three, which is right there. <laughs> you son of a gun! Taxi two and hold short. Runway two four. So are we taxiing out to the left? Bravo, That's Charlie, ridiculous. Hotel, Mike, eight, five, and when I started up, uh, it wasn't raining, and then the second time I started up, it was raining, and then it just went off, like literally, uh, just a second ago, right before I started talking, it stopped raining. Because there is uh, storms in this area right now. Parking brake is off. And we go for the pushback. Yes, I should have pushed back before we started the engines. I realize that. Man, it's really screwy though. I don't know if I should mix with that or not. That's why I've been leaving it off. See, effing strobe. Because it doesn't have beacon. I think we tried this last time, uh, FIN strobe, and it still dinged me. Because it said we had the strobes on, and then it said uh, we got dinged because no beacon. Even though there is no beacon on this plane. Yeah, it looks better with anti-aliasing on, but I'm afraid that could have been what was screwed in it up, and not the two entries. But just the fact that one had anti-aliasing, I'm not sure. But I tell you, it, it looks better with anti-aliasing on, I do believe. But that won't affect this flight. If it, it, I'm going to do another one later on, just testing it out. See if anti-aliasing, turning that back on, see if that screws anything up. All right. We'll stop our pushback right there. Turn our taxi light on. Alright. Let's get going. Over to the runway. What did they say? 24? So it's basically coming right back at us. It must be the one to our left, I'm guessing. Or no, this... Uh, no, because I think... Well, yeah, it would be because the other one was going the other way. Uh, perpendicular to that. Yeah, but, uh, it said runway 33, and I was like, shortest taxi ever, and it was, and then the game crashed, and now we're doing a longer one. Unless it's this one right here. That would be nice. We are taxing way too fast. By the way, using the controller, the joystick again. Not the pedals and the yoke. Doesn't look like it's this runway because it looks like that runway is a lot longer. But looking at the compass, it w this would be the direction. I do not know. We're going to find out here in just a second. Having a heck of a time with the autopilot in the last one, too. I, it's ridiculous. The vertical speed and getting setting your altitude is just unbelievable. Yeah, see, they want me to uh, go across. How long is it? Screw that. We're taking off right here, man.
turn these messages off. I'm not sure why our range is so ridiculous. It's at 80, 50 right there. Uh, as you can see, let's see, distance, where are you? 99 miles. This one's stuck on that other thing. Setting the flaps right here. How are the flat or kellings? Okay, I think they're open. I'll deal with that in just a minute. I wanted to do something, and now I, all of a sudden I can't remember what. To, uh, uh, heading, heading, heading. I'll put it to twenty-four. I don't know the exact uh, heading of the runway, obviously. But I'll just put it at two four. That should be good enough. All right, and we'll turn our landing lights on and put our strobes on we will enter the runway and we will take off just doing a rolling takeoff no reason to stop all right whoa we're, we're taxing we're getting on there way too quickly sorry about that All right, advance those throttles. We'll get out of here. Plenty of room. This plane accelerates fairly quickly too. I've noticed. Wow, we've got a huge wind or something blowing us hard left. All right, positive rate. Gear up, whoa. This gotta be the wind or something, man. Start putting our flaps up, getting a little more speed. Close the cowlings. We could turn our taxi light off. Because we don't we have a retractable landing gear I think I'm, uh, that's right somebody was conversing with me about that before autopilot let's put the yaw damper on we'll go for the heading oh and I've got my heading wrong because we were uh, well with the heading of the runway so I'll fix that here in a second. Trying to see if I can get if the vertical speed is working. Let's see if it settles there at five. Desired track two six one. So let's put this at two six one, although it's it never seems to be perfect, but we'll try it. So it's climbing at eleven hundred feet a minute. Even though we've got it set at five, I'm afraid to hit it anything. Now it's coming down. Let's make sure it doesn't go to zero, though. It's coming down. It's so I, th I think this might actually be working, which would be stunning. So I didn't hit anything except vertical speed, and then that did come on. Let's see if that if that messes with it at all. Yeah, it came up to seven. Uh, it's it's at least staying around it. Let's see what happens if we go to ten. Does it come up? Yeah, and then I think when we are at the altitude we want to be at, we hit uh, altitude and it'll hold it there. All right, so we may have actually just figured it out by accident. <laughs> All right, as you can see, there's just horrible visibility. And it is raining. And Anyone know exactly what that is for? I, I have no idea what that is for. 
I was gonna say, is that like say heated just for extra precaution from the window heat, or is that the window heat? I don't know what that is. But anyway, I'm gonna move our range down just a little bit. That looks even further away. It's at 150. I mean, come on now. There, it's at 30 now. We're getting a little off to the right. That's all right. All right, everybody. We're well on our way. We may have actually figured out the autopilot. Now, I don't know if we can descend with it, but we'll, I think we've got this part. So I'll go ahead and speed it up. Although it, we're just not going to... I think it, it looks like about 90-ish miles right now. So it's pretty short for life, so I won't be gone for long. But I will speed it up and be back in just a bit. All right, everybody, I slowed it down. We're less than 30 uh, miles out now, so we'll go ahead and see if we can't. Uh, yeah, there it is, KHTO. All right, so well, there's no tower, so we're going to go for runway 28. 1028 is the longest one. The other one's plenty enough, but, you know. And uh, 28 is basically almost straight in, so that's always good. That's our position. Let's see if there's uh, let's, uh, 24 miles out. See if there's any procedures. Man, that is hard to hard to read this. Okay, so we got do have we'll go for 28. We should have activated that actually. Let's go ahead and activate that. Come on, thing. There you there you go. 
Can I move you down? There we go. Activate the approach. All right, there we go. So we're at uh, 6,400 feet where there's two uh, layers of clouds. I was going to go at 8,500 feet, but then I, I realized we're, we're in this little uh, gap here. So I I was afraid if we go up to 8,500, might go uh, get up into those clouds. And I wouldn't do that. We're at actually 6,400. Because when I spit it up, we actually went a little high, and then I tried to come in, <laughs> lower it down, and we did, but then we just went 100 feet too low. But, eh. So let's hit our trim altitude off. Yeah, I, I, was, I was afraid it's going to happen. It's not going to work anymore. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how we get this to work. You can see we need to go over to the left right now. You ridiculous thing. It, it does it literally it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I'm calling you out, plane. So we need to descend. You're exceeding G force limits. We're about to bend something. Oh, damn it. Earlier in the last one when I was when it was on like that, I couldn't uh, change the elevation, and then now I just grab it, and I didn't realize I was bending it down like that. Our passenger satisfaction is now down to fit in the 50s, although climbing a little bit back up, but we're going to get dinged for that. Number one, you get dinged for the G-Force, and also they're not going to be very happy. <laughs> this is going to be a, a damned flight. We need to get down. Anyway, we it looks like we're on, like we want to be right here. At least we're back up to seventy percent. That was my bad. I I just nailed the controller and damn, <laughs> wish I hadn't. But yeah, earlier in the other flight when I was trying this out, or I was flying with just trying it out. Um, when I was messing with the vertical speed and everything, I noticed I could not uh, control the elevation. I was messing with the pitch and everything, but it w wouldn't let me control the elevation. It was like we were stuck. Which was annoying. And then I did that. That's That sucks. Damn it, man. Box, I know, I know you'd like to help, but it's actually actually in my way. Well, passenger satisfaction back up to 88, which is not 100, but it's better than being in the 50s. Can't really slow down, can I? Because if I cut off any more of the throttle, it's going to start beeping. It's going to freak out on me. I wanted to be at 3,000 at the at the start of the approach. I'm not sure if we can use navigation. I don't... Yeah, we're not tuned, are we? No. I'm not even going to mess with it. We'll just manually fly right on in. We'll have to use that GPS screen to fly in since we literally have nothing visually. I can't see a daggone thing. Or are we? Are we able to use nav? What happens if we go with the nav? Lose that heading. I guess I could check if we're even tuned in. See if it even has it 
right here, this shows that we're not even quite the, uh, to the thing. So we would... Let's uh, pull up a little bit. Don't want to descend too much. At least we're coming through the clouds now. As well. Right, we're not tuned in. And I was able to just... Was able to bank us right. All right, autopilot's completely off now. I'm gonna increase the throttle. We're just sitting a little quicker than I wanted to. So you can see how far out we are. Go ahead and straighten up. Oh man, it's like you can't see. I can't even see any land or anything. I think we're a little low. I don't want to... It's so hard with this joystick. I always have the problem. I think it maybe it's too sensitive or something. I always have a problem being able to hold it steady. I'm always descending or ascending. But we're at 2,200 feet, that's no problem. I want to go too far to the right because we're already just off to the right. And you can't see anything. I can see the water below us, but ahead of us I can't see a daggone thing. Maybe I should have left it on autopilot a little bit longer. <laughs> Although the nav is showing. Let me try something. Turn that back on. All right, you can see some land. Let's see uh, altitude. Now we're off to the left, so the nav isn't working. All right, I'm gonna cut it off. Need to get over to the right. We're a little over 2,000 feet. I just can't see. I can see some land now coming into view. We got an airport right ahead of us. You can see the lights. I want to get down a little bit out of the clouds. I did not mean to hit final. Because we aren't on final. We are too high as you can see. Well, you may be able to see. I don't know if you can or not. But trust me, we are too high. I cannot see the actual runway just yet so I don't know if we're lined up or not I think we're a little off I think we I can't really tell I think we need to get right and then it comes back a little bit to the left I believe that's what I'm seeing yeah don't worry about me playing I've got it under control I need to get some flaps out but I'm a little afraid there's one notch. I was a little afraid. Dropping the gear. I think they are in fact coming out. It's just a little worrisome trying to get this thing slowed down with the flaps. Second notch of flaps coming down. No, it's not, pal. I'm not sure if you can tell, but uh, we're way too high. There's our... Getting back on the glide slope. There we are. Is it me or are we totally cockeyed all of a sudden? Wow. Full flaps now. Wow, why are we totally cockeyed? 
I feel like I'm flying sideways. But yet coming in perfectly. <laughs> I don't know what's going on right here now. It's like we're crabbing or something, but not because I don't know how. But look, we can't come straight in. Oh, I need to turn that daggone yaw damper off, by the way, and I didn't, haven't. Yeah, we came in a little hot there as well. Oh, get down. Yeah, see, I, I, I'm i using the, the rudder, but that stupid yaw damper. Little bastard. See, now I can, now I can control it. All right. Well, that was a adventurous. It was like we were coming in kind of sideways. Very odd. I don't know if we were getting blown over or what. We'll exit over here. Probably picked a bad exit area. All right, we're off the runway. Open the cowlings. Announce that we're off the runway. Turn off the landing lights. Turn on the taxi. We're on FIN strobe, even though we don't know if that's right. Let's see where exactly where we are. That looks more like the main area over there. I don't really care. I don't really want to taxi over there if we can just park over here. And why can't we? There's like hangers and stuff or something. I see no reason why we couldn't just park over here. Oh, we're gonna get dinged. It was 88%. Man, like, a 99 mile flight and we, we managed to screw it up. Like, you should easily get 100% on that, but it's me flying, I guess. I don't know where, can we just like park over here? Let's say they need to be unloaded over here. They got their limo somewhere over here, so I don't know. I just, I don't want to park or taxi clear over, back over there. It's actually behind us. Uh, let me take off the yoke. Uh, parking brake is on. And, uh, let's see. Cut the fuel. Get the alternators off. Get this all off. Magnetos. And the battery. Although, technically, I guess we should have gotten some of this stuff off. There we go. Everything is off. Damn it. That's not what I meant. I did not mean control E. I meant shift E. Deck on it. I <laughs> turned back to golden dark. There. Shift E. Not control E. Is. Can't believe I started that thing back up. All right, they're 30% off. <laughs> and it would be really cool if they had animations. It's like, there it goes. Well, could have put the table up for yourselves. Oh, I forgot they're in the Hamptons. They're, they're too good. They need their butlers and everybody else, their helpers to do everything for them. All right, we're done in that flight wasn't a very good one all right flight distance 98 miles time airborne 43 minutes flight block 50 time on the ground 11 average speed 137 knots climb time six uh, basically seven minutes cruise time 29 minutes average cruise speed 146 knots descent time 653 
Landing speed 93.94, landing touchdown 94.6 feet a minute, kiss, landing pitch 1.14, landing weight 4,620, total fuel used 120, that seems kind of high. Although I said that, I think on the last one too. Uh, climb fuel used 26, climb fuel used 26 pounds, cruise fuel used 82 pounds, cruise fuel an hour 168 pounds, descent fuel used 11 pounds. Ticket income 458 bucks, cargo income 74. Fuel cost 117, so it's, it is, I guess, good to have baggage. Kind of get your, cover some of your fuel at least. Airport tax is three. Insurance costs 23. Total real income 389 times the 50, 19,450. Ah, oh, man. Considering that your flight was good, the ticket price is good and everything, they thought we should be 88%, so we're down to 94%, decrease of 0.6. Well, that's good that 88% actually decreases you. That shows you how good we were doing. Oh, did you see that? Uh, overall flight reserves, perfect. Pilot bonus points, 80 points. Just made a very smooth landing, 50. Landed at the uh, scheduled airport, 30. And then we get docked aid. It is considered best practice to leave the strobes turned on when the aircraft is on the parking ramp. No, you will. Uh, I think they even said the opposite last time. Yeah, no, no, some bad practice to leave the strobes on, turned on when the aircraft is at the parking lot. We didn't. So I'm just going to leave it off. And beacon lights, because I think then we won't lose 30 points. Beacon lights activated. You know what? We don't have a beacon. So I think we'll just leave it off instead of even using the FIN. Because we're getting hurt on that kind of stuff. Close that door. All right, everybody, we're here in the Hamptons. It was an interesting flight. Could have been better, should have been better. But all in all, it wasn't like it was horrible or anything. Man, that is really jagged. All right, we'll try to fix that. But uh, I hope you all enjoyed this flight, and I'll catch you on the next one.